Good morning and welcome to the Morning Expresso by the Indian Express. My name is Rahil Philippos and let's get you started with the day's big story. Finalizing its order for the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, the Delimitation Commission recommended seven additional constituencies, six for Jammu and one for Kashmir, taking the total number of seats in the Union Territory to 90 from 83 earlier. The order, however, has come under criticism as the Jammu region has got more seats relative to its population compared with the Kashmir Valley. Further, the new assembly seats in the Jammu region have been carved out mostly in Hindu-dominated areas. The only seat in the valley that has been carved out is a stronghold of a past BJP ally. And now for our stories exclusive to the Indian Express. In an interview with the Indian Express, a day before he was convicted for unlawful assembly by a Gujarat court, independent MLA Jignesh Mevani discusses his arrest in Assam, his political plans and his future in the Congress. You can read the interview on the IndianExpress.com website. Next up are our stories from the front page. On the petitions challenging the constitutional validity of IPC sections 124A dealing with sedition, the Supreme Court decided to first examine if it should be referred to a larger bench in light of its 1962 judgment upholding the provision after reading it down. Attorney General K.K. Venugopal said section 124A should be retained and only guidelines be laid down to prevent its misuse. COVID could have killed as many as 47.4 lakh people in India in 2020 and 2021, the WHO has said. If indeed the numbers disputed by India are taken at face value, this would imply that the country missed 90% of all COVID deaths in the first two years of the pandemic. Several population scientists said missing such a large number of deaths was extremely unlikely. An interfaith couple was attacked in Hyderabad on Wednesday night, leaving the man dead. Police have arrested two people from the woman's family, while her brother and brother-in-law, who allegedly carried out the attack, are absconding. The woman, Ashrin Sultana, told the police that her family was opposed to the marriage, not only because the victim, B. Nagraju, was Hindu, but also because he belonged to the Dalit Mala community. At least six of the 13 people arrested for the death of two tribal men who were assaulted on Tuesday over allegations of cow slaughter in Madhya Pradesh's Shioni are members of the Bajrang Dal and had allegedly participated in previous raids against cattle smugglers, their family members told the Indian Express. The families of some of the six others arrested claimed they were cajoled into joining the raid, which led to the death by people they met at a local wedding. Another accused is a tribal youth whose family does not know much about the case. And now for the day's must-read stories. Sanjay Baru writes on the challenges middle powers like India, France and Germany face today. A day after the RBI raised the repo rate by 40 basis points and the US Federal Reserve raised interest rates by 50 basis points, the benchmark Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange jumped by close to 900 points or 1.6% before closing its gains to close the day at 55,702, a gain of 33 points over Wednesday's closing. As inflation remains a key concern, interest rates were only expected to go up. But investors must keep in mind that equities may outperform in times of high inflation, as happened in 2014 and 2016 amid consumer price index inflation. Sandeep Singh explains what central banks have done, the impact on the economy and why equities should be preferred. And finally, four days ago, 19-year-old Priya Mohan beat India's fastest runner, Duty Chand. But what has really gotten people in the athletic circle talking is her impressive biomechanics chart. The teen is being hailed as a potential world-class athlete with incredible muscle levers by biomechanics experts. And that's all for today's Morning Expresso. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Indian Express's YouTube channel for the latest news updates.